Hey everybody, Eric here, aka JoeHandsome99 from Around To It Videos, and I'm here today to talk to you about Movie Edit Pro and making YouTube videos. Now, first, I'd like to say thanks to all my subscribers. You're great, I love it, and I'm glad you're enjoying the videos and they're helpful. Hopefully, this one will get you in the right direction too using Movie Edit Pro. So let's get on to some of the questions I've got. I've had a lot of frequently asked questions over and over on some of my videos, so today I'm going to try and wrap them up for you. Okay, Chroma Key and Movie Edit Pro. Yes, you can do it. I'm doing it right now. You look right behind us, you'll see I'm doing the Chroma Key effect right now. I'm doing it on a low budget. It's done uh, with a green screen. I went to a local store, I bought a true green fabric and it's on the wall right now just tacked up and it's lit with house lamps and a couple of uh, halogen lights right now. I know it's not the best but it's what I can afford on my budget right now because I don't have a studio. But as you can see it does work. It's not the best right now but uh, this is what I can do with it. I'm sure it can be better. Uh, if you just try it, if you have the space to do it, I don't. I'm working out in my living room right now doing this. Anyway, the chroma key works and I haven't had too much uh, of a problem doing it. I just don't use it that often because I have to clean out a space in the house somewhere to do it, to do the backdrop. Anyway, let's get on to another question. I've done the clone videos, I've done the ghost videos, and people ask me all the time about lightsabers. Well, that's a rotoscoping effect. And no, you can't do it with Movie Edit Pro. Sorry, I wish you could, but it's just not possible. You're going to have to go to one of the higher end programs to do it, like After Effects, which costs several hundred dollars, or you could buy the Effects Lab program. It does it, and it costs around a hundred, I believe. And I think Sony Vegas does it, but I'm not sure. Uh, Movie Edit Pro won't do it. Uh, other than that, it's a great program. I wish it would do it. Maybe they'll add that to a, a later version. Okay, uh, one of the most frequently asked questions I get is, I've saved my work, but YouTube won't accept the file. Well, this is a pretty common mistake that first-time users make with the program, where they save it as an MVD versus exporting it as a movie file. Now the MVD file is a file that Movie Edit Pro uses only for editing your videos, whereas you can save it as an MVD, load it up, re-edit it, and save it again. You need to export it. When you export your file as either an MPEG, an AVI, QuickTime, Windows Media File, whatever, then it will work with YouTube. Now the favorite format that I like to use is the Windows Media video file. And YouTube says that the MPEG-4 format works better, but I've done tons of video with uh, the Windows Media format. It works fine. Okay, I get a lot of questions about play speed settings. Can you slow it down? Can you speed it up? Can you reverse it? Yes, you can. It's real easy to do. Let's talk about that. Put your video clip on the timeline, right-click on it, and select Video Effects. In your pop-up menu on the lower left-hand corner are your play speed settings. It's set to zero, which is normal speed. Increasing it to one is like one times normal speed, playing faster. If you make it 0.5, it's half speed, so it's slower. Now reversing it is a little bit different. How you want to do that is, with your same video clip on the timeline, hit Control M while it's highlighted. What this does is it separates the audio from the video track. Then right click on your video, select video effects again, and putting a negative number into place V will let it play in reverse. Video only, no audio. Now, I wish they would do the audio at the same time, but it's not, in, it's not available in this version right now. Hopefully in the next version they'll do that. Movie Edit Pro in a nutshell, it's a good program. It costs about $50, even less now, I believe. It is a good program for first-time users because it's like Windows Movie Maker on steroids. It's straightforward and easy to use. You put your video clip on the timeline, you click Title, drag it to the timeline, edit the title, and there it is. It's in chronological order on the timeline. You can move everything around 
For $50 or less, it's a good program. I've enjoyed it. I've made over 50 videos with it on YouTube, and it works great for me. I don't see a need to upgrade at the time, uh, unless they make a new version. <laughs> but anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.